If you've ever found yourself struggling to come up with the right prompts to generate your own AI art and animations, then this video is exactly what you need. Today, I will share with you six of my favorite websites to help you find really good prompts that you can use in AI tools such as Midjourney, The Forum, and Warp Fusion to create amazing high quality AI art and animations. Let me begin by introducing you to the first platform on today's list. SeaArt is a website that allows you to generate your own AI images and explore those created by the community. Once you navigate to the explore page, you can browse through different categories, pick an image you like, and here you can find the exact prompt that was used to generate the image, along with additional info that includes the model that the artist used. If you're looking for something specific, you can use the search box to find it. Another cool feature on C art is the studio where you can browse for certain styles or find specific generated images. One of the coolest things about C art is that you can select an image you like and hit the try button. This will load the prompt into a terminal where you can customize additional settings and generate your own AI image right on this page. This feature does cost a few credits, but if you run out, you can always add more to your balance. C art also offers a range of other useful AI tools with the HD restoration tool. You you can enhance the quality of your image and eliminate noise right on your browser and it actually delivers impressive results. The Remove Background tool allows you to easily mask subjects in your images and the Sketch to Image feature lets you turn simple drawings into stunning visuals. On top of that, SeaArt offers several AI filters to turn your photos into works of art and if you're feeling more creative, you can train your own custom model on SeaArt and I'm very excited to try this feature out myself. So let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Midjourney is famous for generating stunningly realistic AI images, but did you know that it's also a great resource for finding really good prompts? People generate thousands of images using Midjourney every single day, and you can access these images through the member gallery on midjourney.com. Keep in mind that you will need to subscribe to access the member gallery. Once you're in, you can unlock the explore page and access a community feed where you can browse through some of the best AI images generated by the Midjourney community. And if you're looking for something more specific, you can simply search for images and I highly recommend you switch to the advanced tab as this will display higher quality images and unlock a sorting filter for even better results. And the best part, every image you find here comes with the exact prompt used to generate it as well as related images right below it. I personally use a lot of prompts from Midjourney's library when creating the forum animations. All right, let's move on to the third website on our list, Leonardo AI. Now, keep in mind that you might have to sign up for early access before you can use Leonardo AI, but once you're accepted, you can browse by models and find images created using whichever model you select, or you can head straight to the community feed to find inspiration. Personally, I prefer to use the sorting filter to get better results, which is quite similar to how things work on Midjourney. Once you find an image, that you like, you can copy the prompt and have a look at additional settings for reference. Leonardo AI also comes with its own image generation tool where you can generate not only images but custom prompts as well. One thing to keep in mind is that the search box has been disabled for months now, so I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be fixed. But overall, Leonardo AI is a really useful website. And speaking of useful, there's another website that you need to check out if you want to dive deeper into the world of AI or learn a new skill. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes created by industry leaders for creative and curious people like you and me. They have a wide range of classes that can help you take your AI art to the next level. Personally, I found Skillshare to be an invaluable resource as I continue to grow across different platforms because Skillshare has classes on productivity, time management, and personal branding, which have been super beneficial for me. One class that has completely transformed from the way I work is the Notion Masterclass by Ali Abdal. Notion is already known for being the best note-taking app out there, but this course has taught me how to unlock its full potential and really leverage its advanced features. And now I use Notion to run my entire YouTube
YouTube business from strategizing and scheduling video content to scripting and gathering client feedback. So whether you're looking to learn the basics of a new skill or want to start your own business, Skillshare has courses designed to guide you from beginner to expert. I've already added several more courses to my watch list and I highly encourage you to start learning on Skillshare right away because if you're one of the first thousand people to sign up through the link below, you will get to explore the entire class library for free for a whole month. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of Civit AI yet, you definitely need to check it out. It's a very well-known website that's home to some of the most popular AI models that are trained to generate art in various styles. But that's not all. You can also browse through a vast collection of AI images created by the community. Unlike Leonardo AI, the search box on Civit AI works just fine and I personally like to sort my search results by the most reactions to find more visually appealing images. Once you find what you like, you can open the image and find the exact prompt used to generate it on the right hand side. Some AI images even include the negative prompt and additional generation settings such as the seed which can be incredibly useful in tools like Stable Diffusion. Another awesome free tool you can use to find prompts is a website called Gprompter. It's a little different from the other websites we've talked about because it allows you to create your own custom prompts depending on the style you want. For example, if you're interested in generating realistic results, you can simply imagine a rough photo you'd like to generate, choose a prompt length, an artistic style, aspect ratio, and the mid-journey version, then hit submit to generate a prompt which you can now use to generate your own images. But that's not everything. Gprompter also has a really cool feature that allows you to train your own prompter based on a combination of your favorite styles and prompts. Matt Wolf has a great video on this tool that you can check out if you want to learn more about how it works. Now we've all heard of the one and only ChatGPT. If you've got an idea for an image but you're struggling to find the right keywords, just give ChatGPT some context. I usually ask it to generate multiple prompts so I can choose the best one. You can specify if you want a photograph or a painting, describe the subject, the environment and even include a style if you want. If the generated prompts aren't quite what you're looking for, you can ask ChatGPT for revisions and continue the conversation to refine the prompts until you have a clear and specific input that you can later use in Midjourney or any other generative AI software. If you know of other solutions that you'd like to share with the rest of us, drop them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, stay creative, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.